When you think of a historical badass, the likes of King Leonidas and Teddy Roosevelt immediately spring to mind. But there are other badass qualities aside from busting chops and kicking ass, you know. Have you heard about Kublai Khan's wrestler Princess Nice? Do you know the story of the Chinese prostitute who terrorized China? And what would you do with a man who seemingly could not be killed? Let's take a look at the seven most intriguing badasses from history. The Queen of the Celts Boudicca was the husband of Prasutagus, the king of a first-century Celtic tribe known as the Essenae. The Essenae were allied with the Romans, and when Prasutagus died, his will gifted equal power to both Rome and his daughters. The Romans ignored that, flogged his wife Boudicca, and then raped their two daughters. This, of course, activated Boudicca's beast mode, and she unleashed a world of pain on the Romans. Boudicca raised an army of 100,000 and murdered every single inhabitant of Camulodunum and Londinium, the site of modern-day London. The Romans sent 5,000 professional soldiers in response, legions known for beating armies of far superior numbers, but even they couldn't cope with the hell fury Boudicca whipped up. Her army killed them all, and Emperor Nero nearly pulled out of Britain altogether. Eventually, though, the Romans did defeat the Asini hordes, and Boudicca poisoned herself to avoid being defiled by the Roman thugs. Even though she was responsible for obliterating the city nearly two millennia ago, London still celebrates the warrior Queen Boudicca to this day with a statue near the Houses of Parliament. The Mad Monk Grigory Rasputin, also known as the Mad Monk, was a trusted friend of Tsar Nicholas II of Russia. Rasputin wielded great power over the country after reportedly healing the children of the Prime Minister and the Tsar Nicholas from various illnesses using prayer. He's basically the John Edward of 19th century Russia, if John Edward was a total badass. However successful Rasputin was with the higher authorities, his power annoyed Russian aristocrats, so they arranged his assassination. First, they hired a prostitute to stab Rasputin in the stomach, and even with his organs dangling out, he still survived. Years later, a dinner party for one was made, and Rasputin's food was laced with enough cyanide to kill ten men instantly. Yet, hours passed with nothing happening to the invincible Mad Monk. The very same night, he was shot point-blank through the stomach and liver, and as his assassin left, Rasputin leapt up and started strangling him. Four more bullets were sent his way, with one hitting him in the spine. This seemed to do the job, although with Rasputin twitching 20 minutes later, the assassins took no chances and put one more bullet in his brain. Then castrated him, rolled him up in a carpet, and threw him in the icy river. But they did that just for fun. The Wrestling Princess A wrestling princess sounds like some weird fetish found somewhere on 4chan. But the real-life wrestling princess, Khutun, was just as badass as anyone on this list. She actually helped her Mongolian warrior father win many crucial battles, including the defeat of her uncle Kublai Khan, grandson of Genghis. So you already know this girl has some serious fighter's blood in her. But what makes her truly badass was her strange approach to dating. Most girls, from what I've read, will pick up a guy based on his looks, personality, power, or money. But Khu Utun chose hers based on their abilities in wrestling. Any man who could beat her would have her hand in marriage, whereas losers would forfeit their horses. Over her lifetime, the wrestling princess acquired over 10,000 of them, because obviously 13th century Mongolian guys just never knew when to quit. The Real Life Scrooge McDuck Andrew Carnegie was born into a poor Scottish family in 1835, but at the time of his death at 83, he had become one of the richest men of all time. Carnegie emigrated with his family to America when he was 13, and he obtained badass status by dragging himself up from working at a cotton mill, through to running railroads, and eventually opening steel plants which he later sold for a sum worth $14 billion today. This is where the story of most rich guys ends, but not for Andrew Carnegie. Carnegie was indeed the inspiration for the character Scrooge McDuck, but that's where the similarity ends because the foul Disney caricature was actually the evil version. Carnegie donated 90% of his fortune to various causes including libraries, the arts, and even an offer to the Philippines for $20 million to buy their independence from the United States. Andrew Carnegie, he was proof positive that you don't need to be a tough guy or girl to be a total badass. 
the man they made a movie about. Hugh Glass, a typical 19th century American frontiersman who spent his time trapping animals for fur, trading pelts, and exploring around the Missouri River. Until one day, something happened which would transform Hugh Glass from man into mythical legend. While stout fur trapping, Hugh Glass was attacked and mauled by a grizzly bear. The bear was killed, but Glass was left seriously wounded with severe lacerations, exposed ribs, and a broken leg. His fellow trappers left Hugh for dead. And if at that point a bell ring goes off in your head, then it's probably because Hugh Glass was the inspiration for the movie The Revenant. When Hugh awoke, he found his body broken, his wounds festering, and maggots consuming his flesh. Yet somehow, six weeks of crawling, boating, and fighting wolves over a dead bison calf, he managed to make his way back to society. We don't know much else about the mysterious Hugh Glass, but what we do know is that any man who survives a grizzly attack and enjoys raw meat is all right by us. The Chinese Pirate Prostitute 16-year-old Ching Shi was working as a prostitute and was captured by pirates. She was forced to marry her leader, but when he died in a tsunami, Ching Shi began working her way into his position, and she succeeded. Over the next few decades, her ships plundered the coast of China and defeated an armada of more than 60 warships sent to stop her. During her reign, she captured ships from the Dutch and British, who at the time possessed the most powerful navies in the world. Eventually, China offered her a truce if she'd stop handing them their asses, and she accepted. Her pirate brethren were allowed to keep all the stuff they'd stolen, and Ching Shi retired as every pirate should by opening her very own casino slash brothel and dying at the curiously coincidental age of 69. The Black Death No, we're not referring to the famous plague. We're talking about a man who pretty much had to fight both sides in one of the bloodiest conflicts in human history. William Henry Johnson was an African-American soldier in the U.S. Army during the First World War. And as part of the Harlem Hellfighters, he and his fellow black soldiers faced constant racism from his white colleagues on the front lines, with some even killed by their own through vicious racist confrontations. But the reason he acquired his nickname was due to the badass battling he undertook against the Germans. He was fond of defending himself using hand-to-hand -hand combat. When his bullets ran out, he'd use his gun as a club. When this too broke, he'd use his bolo knife. In one recorded event, he had killed four enemy soldiers and injured almost 20 others before collapsing from wounds, 21 of them to be precise. Johnson would survive his berserker trench tactics, but died in 1929 penniless and alone. Not exactly the ending fitting the very first American soldier to receive the French military's Croix de Gras medal during World War I. And it took nearly 100 years for William Henry Johnson to be awarded the Medal of Honor by his own nation. And those are the top seven badasses which we thought were pretty interesting. But if you're curious to find out even more mysterious stuff, then watch our last video about the top seven secret super weapons that actually exist. And click subscribe too.